Hi everyone, welcome to the Lovely Ladies Collaboration. This is for the month of May. So it will be May 1st, Happy May Day, Happy May um, for 2021. And each month we just choose um, some little ladies or lovely ladies of whatever collection we choose um, and this month our theme I think is May flowers I hope it is because yeah May is flowers so I made two different cards with two different stamps so I'll just do them one by one this is the first one and she is called isn't she cute like a little flower child she is called oops a daisy <laughs> oops a daisy so I put my sticker in there because I have my stamps picked out for the whole year. and But when I am finished with them, I put them inside so that I, if we do this again next year, um, if we do, I'm not sure we will, um, I will remember that I already used this for the collab for and when. So I don't use it again, hopefully. Um, but this is the one I made. Isn't she cute? I made her bright and cheerful. This is on thick whisper white because I'm trying to use up my Stampin' Up whisper white because they have basic white now. And then um, in like two days time, this paper will retire by the time you see this. This is the In Colors DSP 20 to 22, but it was in the 20 to 21 catalog. And I didn't realize I have a lot. So I used the Wood Grain Bumblebee. And I use the, um, I have another bigger piece of it, but um, the one with polka dots, but I use the denim looking one for the Magenta Madness. And then I used an embossing folder called Meadow Moments, and there are two, and I use the one with the, which you're not going to be able to see, with the, um, butterflies and flowers. I don't know if you can see that. And then what I did actually is I took um, a sponge, uh, which will be retiring also, and I put it all over the front, which has Stampin' Up! on it, in Just Jade. And that's how I got the background on this. Um, and then I ran it through the machine and then, of course, wiped the embossing folder clean. So that's what I used for that. Uh, one second. And then I used the Daisy Lane Punch, the large daisy, and the daisy punch, which is item 143713. And is still available and as far as I know carrying into the new annual catalog effective May 4th um, and I punched I stamped them in magenta madness bumblebee and highland heather and punched them out I did wrap just around that embossed piece the bumblebee gingham ribbon which is carrying over to the new annual catalog. It's item 153658. I forgot the right that it's carrying over on there. But I have it sorted in my carryover stuff. <laughs> and then um, the hello, before I get into the coloring and whatnot, the hello is out of this retiring stamp set called Borders Abound. It was on page... 55 um, in the outgoing annual catalog 20 to 21 and it's item 152627 and um, I just used the hello I didn't use anything else in that and okay so then um, this little flag thing is out of the I don't know what I put them here they are it's out of the Tasteful Labels dies. It's right there. And it fit that hello perfectly. And I did use the stitched rectangle dies. I don't know if I still have them out. But I wanted to show you which one I used. Mm. Uh, here, maybe. 
purposes them. No, I don't know where they are right now, everyone. So sorry about that. But I did use the stitched rectangle. Oh, here, here they are. Um, and I was gonna try and use these because I actually was gonna fussy cut her first, and then once I got done coloring her, I realized, uh, how am I gonna get all these little flowers and make it look great? So I ended up using, I think it was this one. I didn't use the skinnier ones after all because it cut some of the flowers off. Um, I think it was this one. Yeah, so this is like the third smallest of the stitched rectangle dies by Stampin' Up, um, which are carrying over. So it was this this one here. If you go one, two, three. Okay. All right. Let me just set them aside. All right. So now for coloring. Her hair is done in bronze. I didn't use any other color, just the bronze stamp and blend, which is the alcohol marker. Magenta Madness light and dark. Purple, uh, not purple posy. Highland Heather light and dark. I think. Yes. And I actually used Mango Melody, which they are retiring to stamp and blend, not the ink color, but the alcohol marker, which I don't understand, but they are. Anyway, and then uh, Just Jade with the flowers, um, Petal Pink, light and dark for her skin tone. And that's about it. I mean, this is Mango Melody with Magenta and Just Jade. This is Magenta with Mango Melody and Just Jade. And this is Highland Heather with Mango Melody and Just Jade. So that is what I did. And she is bumped up on dimensionals. And I just put the flowers popping out under her. like Sort of like she's laying in a bed of flowers. Um, and then these are Purple Posy actual um, butterfly gems, which are retiring May 3rd if they're not gone already. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure. And inside I didn't put any sentiment. I just stamped off twice before putting this in here. And this is done in Magenta Madness, but stamped off twice. And another piece of the retiring DSP in the wood grain in Bumblebee in the background. So that is my first card. I think she came out cute. And then my second card, I went in an entirely different direction. I had this pack, I think I got this from, um, oh shoot, um, Jen Evers Quality Crafts, but I could be wrong about that. I either did or I bought it in the D stash, but I think I got it from Jen. And um, it has Jody Lee on the back. So I'm guessing that's, I don't know if that's the designer or if that is the name of the set. Uh, that's not clear to me, but it's item 951078 by Prima. And up here it's called, uh, oh yeah, Jody Lee Designs. It is the designer and it's called Princess Collection. There's seven pieces. I used this little girl and this butterfly. And let me show you my card. And then I'll tell you if I can remember how I did it. Um, so this is what I did. It is on Flirty Flamingo and Basic Black by Stampin' Up. Whisper White. And then these are the Frenzy dies. Um... Oh gosh, where did I put them? Here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I, uh, um, so this is A2 sized and then this is five and a, and a quarter by four. So it's four wide by five and a quarter inches. And then the white piece is five by three and three quarter. Um, and then this second largest, um, Stitched with Whimsy dies, which are carrying over to the new catalog. They are in the January to June mini catalog, though, also. So they'll be there and the new annual catalog. Um, yeah, I use this one. I love that how that looks. And um, it, the whole scene is kind of whimsical and sort of vintage. I went around the white paper with the Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Write marker, which is the 
um, dye based dye ink based markers that match the ink pads and then I colored her in dark flirty flamingo light flirty flamingo so saffron for her hair I did use dark mango melody for her crown but then I did another technique just a little bit of flirty flamingo here old olive for the stems real red and mango melody for the flowers and Bermuda Bay light I think for the butterfly and then I have had these in my stash like forever and um, hardly ever use them because I forget about them to kind of put away but what made me pull them out is I wanted her little shoes to be black patent leather uh, which is what they looked like uh, except that they weren't shiny and using just Wink Estelle or something just wasn't doing it so I got out this uh, glaze pen by Sakura and went over the shoes with the the pen and you can see they're shiny there also I went over the crown with the yellow one and uh, made that shiny um, there we go and the butterfly with this sort of teal green and made that shiny and oh, also with the yellow one I did the center of this flower and then this little flower on her sleeve I used the pink also or whatever that is and made that shiny but the rest I I didn't and then these are just Stampin' Up's um, basic rhinestone jewels so I used all Stampin' Up except for the little girl image and the Sakura glaze pens I really like those they're not called jelly roll pens they're called glaze pens and I really like those I think I got them at a big box store beginning with M yeah uh, years ago years ago inside I just left it blank but one more technique I did on the white um, which is five by three and three quarter and the black again is five and a quarter by four I took um, a piece of white cardstock let me find one and I just put it in like this and kind of made sure that I had just a little bit of a flat part on each corner got it in there even and punched and that created this shape and then I did go around the edge again with the flirty flamingo stamp and right markers and I see my trimmer these were pieces I had already cut so my trimmer blade has been changed but I'll have to snip them off after um, so yeah that's my second card so I did one Prima uh, princess and one um, oops a daisy gorgeous girl so yeah those are my cards for May 2021 lovely ladies collab please be sure to check everyone else out and including the co-host of this who is Paige stamp girl and um, all the other participants because I always look forward to seeing which little ladies or lovely ladies they've chosen and how they what they've made whether it's cards tags books whatever and uh, yeah this was a fun one for me because um, I just like flowers and I thought about tearing this paper but I really like the whimsy uh, dies and how that turned out on there instead and you could use you could sponge some ink and make it look more vintage but I'm happy with the way it came out as it is so I hope you are too all right everyone thank you for watching and I will talk to you again next month which will be June and I don't remember what our theme is for June <laughs> so come back next month and see all right hugs love and peace